Hello everyone, welcome back to me, myself, and I playing the Darkest Dungeon. Ah, uh, right, so we said we will go here to get some rewards. And what is this? Pretty good, especially with the Blight Resist. So that'd be good in basically the Warrens, but we haven't got it yet. We get it from the Warrens. So, I'm thinking we should probably start rewarding people for their virtuous virtues by upgrading them. Now I don't want to spend too much money, we need to have enough money left to embark. And of course, don't forget the trinkets. We did that wrong in the last episode. But I'm definitely going to upgrade Weird Reconstruction. And I'm tempted to upgrade the Vulnerability Hex because it has done us so... no. The Weakening Curse? The one that removes their dodge. The dodge debuff. Yeah. The Vulnerability Hex. I'm tempted to do that, but I might want to save the money. We'll see. So I'm thinking uh, we'll take a uh, a non-religious group. Maybe we can see if we can get Viz to do something other than kill everybody. Jay's already upgraded to the extent that I'm happy with. Maybe we should replace one of these ones we're not using with one of these ones that we could be using. Like a bleed. Which is a strong bleed. It's going to be a thousand to get it to level two. I think it's worthwhile. Now we've got a, a like a, a two point two point bleed and a bleed resist debuff, so that's good. So we'll take Raikuda, we'll take Bagel. We could take Tim, but the reason I don't want to take Tim, a kind of weak, can't upgrade yet until resolve level two anyway, uh, level one. But also because we were going to go on a medium mission, that makes Tim a very weak character. But Tim's best position is at the front. Which means we're going to have to do a lot of really good heals to keep keep him alive. I don't want to. So, our tank will probably be, uh, like, a, I don't know. <laughs> Who's going to tank? Someone with high HP. You have got the runs, which is a problem. But we can kind of counteract it maybe with a trinket. So, we should probably take Brian at the front. Don't mind losing bits. And then perhaps a Houndmaster in the middle. Maybe Snowland to level Snowland up and get get him to, you know, closer to level 3. We do have several level 3 people now. I did not mean to do that. Or he didn't mean to do that. Or he did not mean to do that. Can you? Thank you. Snowland. So, already upgraded what I want. The negative prop was very, very welcome indeed in probably the Warrens. Or was it the Weald? One of the two. A bleed. I mean, we're not really using that bleed, but it does do everybody. And that's a marked thingy. So, if we're going to take Snowland, we need a marking unit. We're already taking Rikuda, Viz, and Bagel. So, that's basically nobody. So, maybe we should take Penelope Puddles. Penelope Puddles has not featured in an episode for quite some time as well. Hasn't been upgraded. And I like Harvest. What have we got here? Okay, so I'm not, I don't use these too much. Uh, Holmes is talking to me, but she's just missed the episode she was in. Let me respond. Hey, you're late. You were in the last episode. This won't be as weird as last time. Which reminds me, Holmes was actually talking to me in an episode I was recording in. Uh, and that was quite recently, so maybe we should... Give Holmes a bit of a break for now. Uh, do I want to upgrade any of these? That's the question. Like, I like this um, plus six accuracy and plus three crit. I'd like it if the speed went up a bit, but it's not even going to tell me what the future holds for that. Or we could unlock something new. That's a forward one. And that's a back three. And that's a forward three. Interesting. Is there a back one? No. Hmm. Accuracy base, 95. Likes to hit. It's a bleed. Three points around for three rounds. And if we're taking Raikuda with their new... Bleed skill, open vein. Which removes bleed resist. Then that plus that could be very valuable indeed. But this is already a bleed, right? Yeah. I mean, you could bleed the shit out of people. But I don't want to spend another thousand, so... I guess we'll just upgrade the one that does damage and self plus six speed. 
But you can't use that from that position, so <laughs> basically, don't. I'll use this. I do use that, and I should use that. So that is our party. Leave. You've been here. Uh, we're going to have... Who did we decide was going to be the tank, though? Rakuda usually in position two. Yeah, definitely. Got a point blank shot. Well, we need to turn one of these off. We don't use grape shot blast. Point blank shot does step you back and do a lot of damage. So we don't use that and we will use this. Brian's our tank, that's right. Even with the runs. That's why he's not allowed in the house. Bagel is going at the back. Excuse me. Thank you. And Penelope Puddles is going in the middle, which is actually a really... Everyone's in the right place. Yes, trinkets. Let's return all trinkets. And sort by class restriction. And you have got a less of a virtue chance if you're going to stress out. A good crit, which is not... I think that still applies to heals. And neither of those two skills... I don't really... I don't know, because we have the the heal stone, right? Which has been very valuable for us. And the other one, which removes all bullshit from everybody. Where is it? Uh, hello? Where is it then? Rarity. This one. No. Nope. This one. This one stops us bleeding people by accident when we try and heal them. And this one causes them to get healed really well. But, I mean, maybe we were overkilling on the heals in the first place, so we could possibly take this just to see how it does. But we're not really going to be using those skills, so I think we should stick with what we know on that one. Penelope Puddles, though. Yes, we're going to use a lot of bleed on you, but you're going to be bleeding a lot, so maybe a heal might actually cause you to bleed more than I'd like, but we'll see. Uh, more protection, more stress. Not, ha not a fan of that. More heals, more stress. Not a fan of Ooh. We could even more increase our heal skills for the stress and take the stress damage. Now I think we're alright as we are because maybe later on when we start dealing with enemies that hit a lot harder that's going to be valuable but not in this situation. Uh, you're already really good at trap disarming. Yeah. Maybe the bleed skill because we're using you for basically all your bleeds so we'll do that. You have also got bleed skills so maybe we can give you... Oh, that's got bleed resist on it, and that's got bleed resist against it. So we'll do that instead. That's also a bleed skill chance. It reduces your dodge to something that's still quite high, but counteracts the bleed resist. See that? So that we've actually improved our bleed resist as a result of that, which means you can have the bleed skill chance here. We don't have any stuns. Accuracy on melee skills could actually be what we go with here. A stun resist. Protection is not ideal. Um, less stress damage could be okay. Just straight up damage. Our dodge is 15. Plus 10 dodge if HP is above 60, 75%. That's okay. Yeah, we'll just go with the uh, melee skills because we're going to be using the stabby quite a lot, I think. Let's just check. We've got stabby, stabby, shooty, shooty. Yeah, so this and this work well with each other. And they're both... Well, that's a stabby and that's a shooty, but that already has quite a lot of damage and accuracy, so we might as well do what we've done here. And you, Brian, you're going to need protection because we're going to be hitting you a lot, in theory. Have we got anything specifically for the leper? Yeah, I like that, especially since you're at the front. And your match HP match is um, kind of hosed. Less move resist could be okay. Especially for an improved dodge, which is currently zero. So it will give us a small chance to avoid a lot of the attacks that are going to hit us. Hmm. We could get our HP back and reduce our speed. I don't really like reducing speed on everybody, because it means that we just go le go last. Uh, it's not very, very good. Less damage, more of everything. Take more, do more. Yes. 
I think the damage on this unit is not as valuable as the damage soaking ability of that unit, but at least I remember to do trinkets this time, and that's what's important. Now we will provision with only 7,000 on a medium mission. I'm going to be spending it all on food, basically. I'll take a stack and a half and one of the... Oh, we've got two of those already, so... Well, two of our units are bringing those, which is really helpful. What else do we want? We're going to the Warrens, which is where all the stabby things are, I think. We'll take a couple of those. We don't have anyone that can staunch a bleed, so if we are bleeding, we're, we're buggered. But I won't unlock anything unless someone... I mean, I won't open anything that might need a key, and if someone's going to do it anyway... Well, I'm not going to be able to use a key. Because they don't give me the opportunity to use a key. Come on. Thank you. Scouting. I like it when we start the with a scout. Must first scout the squad right, what are we doing? We're exploring 90% of rooms. That means... Oh, <laughs> this is bad. Right, so we'll reduce backtracking. We can do three backtracks maximum. We can get it down to a minimum of three backtracks. So we go up here, and then we backtrack one, two, three, and then we do the rest. Which means we have skipped this room, and then we know there's a battle on the way, so we're not going to do it. So we'll go here. Seems like a good start. Might consider not using too many, um... 80%? I thought you were better than that. Too many torches when I know there's going to be no... Battles? Oh, don't touch it. <sighs> wow, you got stressed out by something. Because we've got all this leeway, you see how it doesn't quite fill it? We've got plenty of leeway. Although, that's gone out the window, because now I don't know. There's a trap there, dude. Right. Carelessness will find no okay. clemency in this place. You resisted the bleed thanks to the trinket, I, I suppose. So yeah. I'm gonna maybe try and use as few torches as possible, maybe find some on the way. I wanna make sure we've got enough for all this backtracking that we've gotta do. Thank you for telling me about the trap. I will forget about it inevitably. But I appreciate the heads up, nevertheless. What a time for hunger. I haven't done anything except step on a bloody trap so far. Some cash is fine. It almost pays back for some of the stuff that I gave you. To start with, nothing in this room which we knew. More scouting. This is going really well. We must have more than one Warren Scrounger, right? Nope. Wow, you're both... No. Cove Explorer? Clotter is good. Ah, bleed resist on you. That's really helpful. We haven't got any Warren Scroungers, and yet we're <laughs> we're doing really well on on that. You are going to do this. Well done. There is a 1 in 10 chance that that will fuck up every single time. I mean to say, every time there is a 1 in 10 chance that that will fuck up. Man, imagine if it was literally a single die roll, and all of your trap disarms for that dungeon were going to either succeed or fail. That would be bullshit, man. Right, we've got a Jester. You can either charge forwards and debuff everything and speed yourself up, and then charge back and fuck yourself up. Or we can do this, which might ensure that on the next turn we all get to go first again. And I think starting off with the Jester buff is actually really valuable, even though some of these things can do with dying quickly. That's a bad start. No disease. Uh, so now we sort of advance and dance back a lot, I guess. Or we just try and kill these things. We could kill this outright. And we did. So well done, Raikuda. We did give Raikuda the... Uh, the plus melee thingy. We are marked, which is fine with me. Wow, this is stressy already. I'm not a fan of it. Chop. 7 to 14. Quite likely to kill, but these are the only two things we can hit. So at some point... We're going to need to use that. What can that hit? Just that. Well, we'll kill this first, and then we'll purge everything. And I didn't get to have a go, so that's two units that didn't get a go. Which I honestly can't be upset about. Eldritch. Human beast. What have you got? Dodge, speed, no protection. So we're not going to get away with using the... Oh, we use minus dodge on this. Yeah, that's a good start. This is very much a support character. We're not expecting um, Bagel here to do any 
some real DPS. So now the harvest is not actually as valuable as you think. So maybe we start soloing. Can you do that? You can do it from the second position. That's okay. And then you can use a duelist advance provided you go... Oh god. This may go wrong because these units could end up completely out of order. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because why the hell not, right? We're experimenting with this stuff. You're going to bomb on you. That's okay. Wasting sickness. These things have an outrageous chance of doing uh, that shit to you. Oh, you can still use these. Including this. Does that do plus marks? Yes. Good job. Nearly dead. If only it were bleeding. We'll do this then. Because we removed all the dodge from that, that thing was already fucked. I mean, we could just do this. That way, you lose some stress. You don't waste a turn on something that we don't need to waste a turn on. I mean, it probably wouldn't count as wasting a turn, necessarily. But, you, you couldn't do anything valuable from from where you were, except to reduce your own stress. So I think we did exactly everything that we should have done in that particular situation. We'll put you back here. Shall we look at this? We don't have any holy water, so I'm guessing no. You could do it. Yeah, let's see what we get. Just a lot of stress. That's okay. I was expecting it. More scouting. I was expecting it, which is why I used the least stressed out unit. Although the only one that can actually heal any stress is that one. This is a medium, don't forget, so we will be camping at some point to get rid of some of that stress. And we know there's a battle coming up. So we will use the torch on this tile. Oh, hello. Two surprised lame spiders. Losers. Well, this will do... This could kill it. If it doesn't, the bleed will. Crit. Perfect. Everyone took solace in that because Raikuda's crits are best crits. And you're surprised, which basically means... Oh, hello. <laughs> I can't do anything. Here, have some accuracy and crit opportunity. And then you... Maybe I should swap one of these out for the stabby one. I think that might be a good idea. What have you got? dodge. Yeah, we'll do that. Unfortunately, that means it does get a go. But only one go against one person. Which resisted everything anyway, so that's quite okay with me. Let's go even faster and crit even harder. Does that stack? Yes. That's outrageous. <laughs> Look. <laughs> this is completely the wrong order for people to be doing stuff in. And nevertheless, it's happening. That's what we want. Right, that was easy. Uh, yes. Oh, we didn't unlock it. Not smart. This Eldritch as well. I don't think there's much Eldritch in here, so it's not that big a deal. At the same time, kind of would have liked it. What are we on? 75. There's nothing in here, so... In fact, we know there's nothing coming up, so we don't need to worry about the light level for a while. What I'm thinking is we can let it go to zero until we get back. I'm hoping nobody tries to open this. Obsessed with killing and food. Killing and... No, that's bad. And time will only meditate. Paranormania. That could have been a paranormal thing, so I'm not... I'm not confident that we're going to be okay there, but I'm not entirely frightened. So I'm going to leave the... Torch to snuff out basically. Yes, we shall. And then use only four when we get back. Even though this may increase our stress, I think we're okay with that. Because obviously we're backtracking and it's dark. So that can be a very stressful experience for these. Um, I know it's stressful for me in the Binding of Isaac when I've got Curse of Darkness and I have to go all the way back from the boss fight to find the item room. It's a very stressful experience, so backtracking in the dark is a known problem. I'm mostly concerned that we're actually going to start using this. Oh, there's a battle all of a sudden. Where did that come from, and how do I know about it? In that case... 
It's not paranormal. It's not paranormal. It's not. Our party agrees with me that it is not sufficiently paranormal to be uh, something to obsess over. Uh, excuse me, you do not have this much speed. Keep doing that. What have we got here? Abyssal artillery, not very good. We, can curse. we don't need to heal anybody. You have got no dodge and slow speed. Then I will make sure that this last one does a poor amount of damage. If it's going to do any... Or, or when I say make sure, it must mean... Try to ensure. You're gonna die on your next turn? Yes. So we don't need to hit that. We'll kill this one. Back to the pit. They must have just crawled out of the woodwork. But you died. Your only turn, in fact. Five to ten versus six to eleven. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. No contest. And we successfully avoided opening the thing that could have brought in that eldritch horror that killed everybody last time. Well, not last time. When we did the dark room. Let's uh, go this way and hope that the curio is not something that we suffer from. This. See, the hunger that we've had has actually kept us topped up in terms of uh, HP anyway. Of course they do. Fortune smirks at least. What did I win? Loads of food. <laughs> okay, perfect. We can at least feast. Shush you. Uh, what do we want? Yeah, one more. Pretty sure there's nothing in this room, but... When should we camp, then? Because we're not doing badly at all. The only thing we need to worry about is Bagel's stress. It's like Hulk Smash, but sort of more nerd rage. You've done very well on disarming those traps, and I'm appreciative of it. This pack contains loot and a shovel, which we haven't needed and yet bought two of. I always buy at least two shovels because you never know. And we brought these for free. This is such an easy mission. I should have brought um, Tim on it in the first place. I didn't know. I didn't know. And I didn't bring a key, did I? No. If we find one, we can come back to the secret room. Genuinely didn't expect to have this much scouting. I beg your pardon. I was not intelligible to speakers of of our fair of a fair tongue. We will do the plus speed and plus crit thing first, and then start bleeding those things. Second, I actually quite like that, even though I maybe bad mouthed it earlier on. But quite it hurts is not a problem. The fact that they're spreading the damage around and we only have one healer is, you know, not ideal. But at the same time, the damage is almost of no consequence. So our healer doesn't really matter in this situation. No offence to our healer. Right, Duelist Advance. Activates Repost. Yes, that's what I like to see. We'll go for this one because this is the most... Ooh, 10 damage. This is the most likely to be a problem for us. So that will die when uh, Penelope gets her first stab on the middle two. It's also fun. Let's see. You have got 5 to 10. I could kill it, provided you hit. Stress heal and prop. Intimidate. Less damage and less accuracy. I mean, we could just kill it. We didn't. Ah! I was tempted by that. Very, very tempted. Weakening curse. What have you got? Protection, protection, dodge, dodge. So we will get rid of the dodge. On you. Good. You didn't dodge the D dodge. But you resisted it. Ah! Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he still gets to go. That's a shame. It's okay. Everyone else is mostly okay on stress. It's just Bagel. But it's always just Bagel, isn't it? Likely to kill. I will press this advantage. And it knocks the corpse back, which is valuable. You will... Well... Just finish it. That's why I didn't want to dodge, de-dodge that one, because I had a good chance of killing it. Even if it didn't do the damage, it may have done the bleed. Let's knock this back so that this chap's at the front. And clear all the corpses. Alright, it didn't move, but it still cleared the corpses, so that's fine. Oh, it's going to be at the front anyway, so whatever. Here we go with... I do his solo? It does de-accuracy everything, which could be valuable. And then we can finale at the end, as usual. Don't attack him with the stress. 
they was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> kind of upset by that, but not, um... Not gonna stress about it. You might as well reduce your damage if you can. We can't, okay. Chop. 7 to 14, 5 to 10. It's got a lower range and more likely to hurt. Yeah. The lower spread of options to roll is what I meant. Uh, we might as well do this. Because you've had a go. And you're likely to go first. Which means we can finale this. With a crit! Ah, <laughs> perfect. Please take solace in that. Nope. Bagel's implacable. What's this? Max HP. Push on more dodge and less accuracy. End. Is that better than this? More. That's got prot. But it's taking a lot of stress damage and doing less damage. But that's not a bit of a problem, I think. Even if we did more damage with our leper. It's not, like... The amount of damage the leper has been outputting has been fine. It's the fact that it keeps missing is the problem. Excuse me, can we do this properly? There we go. Uh, treasure, sure. Oh, we're halfway. <laughs> I thought you were here. But, obviously, I completely misread the situation. We'll deal with that. Busts are fine. There's a secret room here. We can't do anything about it. Because we don't have a key, and the thing in the secret room always requires, always requires a key. We should camp. At some point. We'll camp after this fight. Maybe we'll get some scouting as well. And if we do... Obsessed with death? Oh, fucking brilliant. <laughs> I was just going to say, we've never got anything bad out of these things here, so I'm happy to do it. Immediately get something bad. Uh, you're in the wrong place. Alright, we'll do this fight. We'll camp afterwards and hope to get some scouting. Definitely should have brought a key. But this is more of an XP mission than a uh, a treasure mission. Although you kind of have to pay for the mission itself, I suppose. Maybe I should have brought a key. But then we wouldn't have had room for it. We would have discarded one of these. So it could or could not be correct. Can we have a go? You're just making it really bad on your oh on us, but mostly yourselves. Well, now we get to use our healer to heal. So there's that. For 11. That's really good. We resisted that bleed, but not that bleed. That's okay. So, we can activate the repost. Your skills are, yeah, either two positions. So, you two swapping position does not actually matter too much. And you can hit that, which I think you should try and do. Yes. Always does not quite enough damage. That thing has slightly too much HP for my liking. Less damage, less accuracy on those two is probably valuable. Especially this guy. Plenty of them. Um... Of course you resist it. You're the one I want to not hit me anymore. You have got 10 of 19. So you're 9 down. Not to 14. We could completely overkill that heal. Or we could try and get some dodge off of the ones that keep dodging. Which is only that one. She's going to die soon. So maybe not. Good abyssal artillery. 3 to 6 damage and 2 to 4 damage. I'd like to have the one that removes protection, but we don't have it. Well, you're not bleeding, so you at least get a death storm before it's a problem. Of course you dodged them both, but... You don't even have any... Oh, some dodge, that's okay. I'll let you off. We can only shoot this. Or we could bleed 6 to 11. We could kill. Do, am I more concerned about HP or stress? I think stress. Oh, fine, perfect. You are outmatched. Now we'll bleed these two. Probably pick up that kill, that's right. And then... Uh, does one of these do a knockback? Yes. What's your resistance to that? 50%. And your stun resist is 25%. But that's not a stun anyway. But I don't think that's worthwhile, because moving it back doesn't help. Uh, more protection... We could try this again, or we could just hit it. Which I think is valuable. Five, two, just kill that. That was a long deliberation just to stab something in the face, but... Yeah, riposte. That's where it's at. Yeah, <laughs> bleed away. Let's see if I can. I mean, solo doesn't help. You're going to go after you, which is a problem. So, we just... 
Buff everybody, I think that's the right thing to do here because moving that unit is probably not a good idea. Three and no bleed. Yep. You're bleeding, but we'll get to you in a minute. Point blank shot. We have got a debuff to our uh, to our range skills, but it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. To be fair. Stab it. Sweet. Take all of that. Thank you very much. So I mean, we could open this. It's not locked, but it could be trapped. Or is it merely a trick you. of the light? Excellent. Oh, now we get a key. That's exactly what I wanted to see. The flow of otherworldly corruption. You. Eat all that. We'll take this key. We do get scouting. There's a curio and the battle on the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... We're here. I'm going to move to this room. Backtrack to here. Get what's in it. I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll camp here. That frees up some inventory space. Huddled together. We'll de-stress everyone. Excuse me. Vulnerable. Oh, I thought that was our stress. I was like, excuse me, it said 10. I was promised 10 stress. Uh, and then we can take our key back. But now that we're going to be sort of de-stressed, let's stress damage. Self only. Self only. Selfish bastard. Reduce stress. Self reduce stress. Everyone else increase stress. Not what we want. You take 20% damage, and everyone else reduces stress by a lot. An amount. Takes three, so that takes two. I want the one that stops being ambushed, really. Mortality debuffs. I think that's when you come back from death's door. Yes, this. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> that's bad. I don't want it. So this can uh, take the piss out of one person for everyone else's benefit. We are not going to get the prevention of the nighttime ambush because I'm not going to give everyone the stress required to do so. In which case, we might as well de-stress everybody and heal you later. Yes, stay back. You've already remo removed your mask. Why do... Uh, and we'll de-stress you a little bit. I mean, this could be really good for Bagel because we may not have to put Bagel in for any reconditioning whatsoever. Go. See, that is well within parameters. So we, you, we can all come out on the next mission. I'm quite happy with that. And a five. We've got five left. Remove bleeding and remove blight. I don't really want to use any of your things because they're so dark. We could, we could get rid of our scattering penalty with this, which is four. This is two. Now we've got uh, prevention of it as well. And we've undone the damage we did to that. We've basically come into this as well, come out of this as well as we went into it, which is very valuable indeed. Ah, no ambush anyway, so we are sorted. Are I mean, we could go the long way around, to be fair. Clear. Get some extra stuff from the Curios. And only suffer the penalty from one backtrack? Yeah, we should do that. Let's, uh, let's undo this. There's two battles on the way, but I'm okay with that because we're doing really, really well. It could have a high stress unit in it. Will you stop? Why are you bleeding? Stop it. I've got a bandage as well. I probably should have just. Okie dokie. Battle. It has got a high stress unit, but it's surprised. So if we can get rid of this first, we should be fine in terms of the fact that we just, you know, got rid of all our stress. Uh, two points around for three rounds. If we hit, and we do some damage, then it's basically one shot away from death. But we could just use our duelist advance on that thing. So I think we're going to do this, because this is always really good. Especially with the plus 3% crit. That's extremely valuable. You are going to do 10 damage. You always do 10 damage unless you crit. Okay, fine. Uh, and then you... Chop. Hassan, Chop. And then you. Unfortunately, you are not within range of this killing you, which is a shame. But this could. 
That may be a bit of a waste because it could dodge it completely. It's got a high dodge. 79% chance to hit and then a chance to not do full damage. I think I'd rather let it have its half. Oh, we did it! I was going to say I'd rather let it have its turn, but you know. Every rose has its turn. So you might as well just harvest this. Get some bleed going on it. It might make sure that at the end of our round, that thing doesn't get a go. HP, not too concerned, although we used some of yours overnight. We'll reduce the damage on this if possible. We can't, but that's okay. You can... What's that? Knock back one. Oh, we can only shoot that. That's fair. So we'll just try and bleed this to death, is, is my, uh, my opinion. 4 damage per round, 12 damage left. That can actually kill you outright. Oh, we gonna get away with 2 fucking points. That's okay. You're okay. Don't worry about it. See, I told you. And now you get to go first. Yeah. Do that. 2. Brilliant. Well done. Resist that bleed, obviously, because we are always resisting it. Finish the fight, so I think we did okay. Bit, bit unlucky in some of those situations. More stress, more crit, less virtue. A plus 2% crit I don't think makes up for the plus 5% stress. Especially since that plus 5% stress then manifests itself as less virtue chance at the end. Right, this is going to be a problem, but I think we can manage it. That might actually be a good way to start this. No, it's not. I can't. I can't not start with this ballad now. It's it's very very valuable. So one of these units may still end up in stress relief, unless we can get rid of both of these two units. Ow. Ah, uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Ball and chain is dodged. Excellent. I would like to have buffed our dodge, actually. I completely forgot to redo our uh, positions, actually, but I'll just do that. 14 damage. We did buff that. But still. But still. Not back three. Intimidate one. Minus 20 damage, minus five accuracy. I think that's a good thing to give to both of these units, if we can manage it. No. Why are they resisting their debuffs? It's only 15%, but we haven't got one in so far. At least, not to my satisfaction. I want to de-dodge this thing if I can manage it. What's your dodge like? Zero. It did. That way, I think you're. What well, you think you have a an attack that will help there? We could kill that outright. Look how good that is. How did you get down that far? I'm okay with it. We'll heal you just in case something goes wrong. 14 is a great. Great heal, that's actually all of your HP. And you dodge that, which makes me very happy. So now we've only got this one coming on. Which does some damage, and the stress damage it does to you is so low, I'm kinda happy to tank it. We could knock back three of this and clear the corpse. Which I think is valuable. Even, yeah, I was gonna say, even if it doesn't actually move, it brings things into range. Oh! Never seen that crit before, but I think that's the only thing that ever does, based on the skills down there. Hmm. Pistol shot does more damage versus marks, which means we could kill that. We didn't, but we could. And that's what's important. Now we can kill it. And with the extra bleed on that, four per round with three HP left, so you're dead. So. Pistol shot won't help. We open vein on this. We've got a bonus to melee. It gives us two damage per round, so these are both dead. So you get healed for a crit, outrageous, and you can do the thing where you heal your own stress. Assuming we get a go. Yeah, we do. Uh, stress heal plus prop. Yeah, we do that. That's really good. And then you die. I think we handled that admirably, if I do say so myself. What is this? I want to take all of this, but also I kind of don't. We don't need these. We're probably not going to need the shovels either. No, we're not. So when we come back to the secret room, we can discard the shovels, even though we would get some money back. Uh, it's not that much. More damage versus beast and less dodge. Which is probably quite nice, but we'll continue adventuring. 
Uh, we'll go to this room. We know there's nothing on the way, so it's just a matter of using up torches and trying not to take too much stress damage. Ooh, a curio has arrived. Apparently we didn't scout this, so I was wrong to begin with. Waiting to be spent. Take the cash. That's fine. Use the torch. We can go a little bit hog wild on our torches now as well, because we're not going to need them when we get back. Hopefully these curios don't cause unnecessary damage. Ah, perfect. Now you can do this. And do this. Which stacks with everything we got, so it doesn't use any more space. Which is, this has a map in it, which is fair, exactly. That has literally no value for us, but we can go back to the secret room. And once we've taken what we can from the secret room, we can leave. There is actually suddenly new combat, which surprised everybody. I'm sure. You're in a position I can start bleeding you from the outset, so I will do this even though normally I would start with the buff, and we'll do the buff on the next turn if it turns out to be valuable. Quite right. No debuff, which is okay with me. Please dodge. Good! Well done, Bagel. Bagel's turned into a really good character. Well, started off as a really good character. If I'd known that was going to happen, maybe I wouldn't have called it Bagel. <laughs> hey! Uh, that is a perfect position for that to be in, if I'm being honest. You're doing two damage per round, and you've got seven to take. So you might as well activate Riposte and basically kill it. Yeah, absolutely kill this. Riposte is one of my favourite things, because any scattershot will be riposted. Hmm. You have got some dodge, and you've got a lot of dodge, so we'll do this. Please be debuffed. You resisted it. It's outrageous. Should be allowed. Chop. Could kill you with one shot. Not quite. <laughs> Why? Why must you do this to me? Why you do this? You're gonna repost. Didn't repost. Maybe only if it's a damage doing attack? Which seems strange because you can dodge that. But okay. Don't really need to heal you because it's stress we're concerned about at this stage. So we'll just try this. Start using things we've not used before. You are dead now. Yeah, absolutely. 100% out of this world dead. Can we open vein at the back? No. So we might as well kill you. Which is not ideal. Now we can do maybe this. I'm starting to think maybe this ballad is not going to do too well. In this particular combat. Oh shit, now you're in a bad position. Yeah, that was dumb. That's okay. We all make a mistake. Uh, it's not as bad as the mistakes I made in the last episode, so we can all take uh, solace in that. We might have to send Brian in for some little bit of uh, stress relief after all. Just because this surprising combat between us and the secret room it's basically uh, ruined everything. Which is outrageous. Lots of things are outrageous, I would say. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. We'll take this. We'll use this. The match we'll is discard stuck. this. A blazing star is born. We don't need the food either, but I bet we get a fucking hunger tick when we step. That's okay. Uh I mean I guess we two hundred we've got one of those, so we'll take that. And we'll take this. We don't need that. So we'll go forwards. No hunger. You go in here. You might as well eat the food. Because <laughs> I feel really bad if we just sort of, you know. Uh, you're not moving, mate. You're fucking using the food. No, not you. You. There's really no point in doing this. And we will discard that. We will use this in here. Wealth beyond Get rid of measure. that. These don't stack, right? To the no. That's and the two and a half thousand gold each. So that's five thousand right there. Dismas's head is uh, also pretty nice, so we will figure out what to do with that. I don't know what to get rid of. Possibly the crests, because we have a shitload of them. That's worth 450, and that's worth... That's 500. That's that's 1,000, that's 500, that's 450. But I think this is the one we don't care about, so we'll take that. And then we'll go. I think that was a very worthwhile secret room to go into, simply because we did find that, um, we found that key, unexpectedly. So we've got plenty of stuff here, which is fine. And you've come away with, 
not great, but this is pretty good. We might have to get rid of this because we tend to do high torch runs. So this will make you use um, the confession booths that you find in the ruins. It's not ideal. Psycho's recovered 76 stress. Ash? My failings. Excuse me? I'm pretty sure we put Ash in for something. Ash was getting pissed. What happened? Did I forget to press the button? I must have done. That was foolish. Again, simple mistakes that stack up. We'll put Ash in. No. Ash, you were going in the bar. Remember that? Do it. We got a lot of money out of that. An outrageous amount of money out of that. Also, we should probably think about selling some of our trinkets. We can buy some trinkets, but that's not too useful. But we can sell them. How? Hold shift to sell trinkets. That's how. Like, we don't need duplicates for a start. So we'll get rid of this. Yes. This. Yes. Uh, I guess we just sort by rarity. I'm going to unequip them all, actually, and then sort by rarity, because then we can find things that we have two of. Wow, there's heads in bags. What's all this about? Who are these people? They just get you very stressed out. Probably because you're carrying a head around in a bag. Um, I would not be surprised to learn. That can be very stressful. We have got two of these, so I don't want that. Because don't forget, it's not too valuable to just leave it on one of them. Because we always press this button at the start of the mission anyway. So that's it. But we've got some cash. We're now on 22,000, which is a lot. But that secret room really paid off. Which is good, because that wasn't really a treasure hunting mission. <clears throat> and some of these we never use. So we should probably sell them. I might do that between episodes, just see if I, I want any of them and get rid of the ones that I never use. Try and get a bit more cash. Uh, and then on the next episode, let's see what's available, I suppose. There is still this mission to do. It's another medium mission, but I think the next episode I should probably do something that isn't 45 minutes long. So there's a short veteran and a short apprentice. And stave off sickness. Well, that's a, a medium, but gather three medicines. So we have to have at least three uh, inventory spaces to do that. So that's not going to be a that's not going to be a treasure gathering mission at all. Uh, that could be good for Dutch. Anyway, our party that we took seems to me to be fine, except for the fact that Brian has now got wasting sickness and the runs. So we should put him in. Right now, what are we going to do? We're going to do this. So we increase the chance of curing extra diseases. Now they've got plenty of money. The front line of this war is not in the dungeon. And we just rather, that's really good. So you now have very cheaply a chance to get rid of both of them. And even if we don't get rid of both of them, the other one's going to be cheap as well. It's a matter of time rather than so that was that was a really good run. I'm tempted to put Mr. Steve in since we're not taking... I'm avoiding taking Mr. Steve because he's at 50% thingy. Or we could take him on the next short mission. But that's the next episode. And that's the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate everyone's, uh, everyone's good words that they have to say about this whole series. Which is, I'm enjoying it and I think everybody else is enjoying it too. So... Uh, yeah, as mentioned, thank you for watching, and do join me for the next one, but I will see you until then.